On this week's show, new Peloton commercials and an official YouTube TV partnership for Peloton Entertainment. Plus, service fees for group bookings at Peloton Studios, auto resistance for Power Zone rides are here, and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 159 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm Amanda Siegel and I am joined this week by Just John Pruitt. Hey, Just John Pruitt, how are you? Hey. Hey, Amanda. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Did you have a wonderful holiday? Yes, it was nice. Um, nice low-key holiday. This feels like the longest winter break ever, though, with uh, Jackson being off two weeks for school. So I'm kind of looking forward to him going back. It's been a lot, it's been sure. a lot of technology uh, these past <laughs> two weeks, so. I'm sure. I'm sure. I know. Yeah. And also, especially in the winter time, if you're not going away, it's you're kind of stuck indoors. So it's you know, in the summer they're at camp and they're doing all sorts of stuff. But I guess in the winter it definitely is is sucky. Yeah, yeah. It was a quiet. It was a quiet holiday for us too. Um, just down in, in Florida, and um, weather was awful, awful. It was you know, definitely getting colder in December's in Florida um, these these days. But, it's been, um, yeah. um, we've had about a week plus over Christmas of it just being rainy and gray. Okay. So it's very non-holiday winter Christmas weather here. So it's just been, yeah. it's None kind of, of been that. weird. Not a lot of sunlight. None of that so, nice yeah. snow and no snow, no snow yet. Yeah. It's not cold. Yeah. And just gray sky. So it's just mm. been gloomy. So uh, yeah. yeah, the cold is finally hitting yeah. out. It's, it's 26 degrees in Michigan currently. Oh, wow. So that's, you know, but no snow, fortunately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, sure. I must preface before we go on. If if my yeah. voice sounds a little bit affected, I just got Invisalign last week, so Look at just you. getting used to the uh, the trays, you know, in the in my teeth. Good so, for just, you. A head, just a heads up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I can. You know, if you hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have heard it. But now I, I did hear a little. I did hear a little something. I did hear yeah, a little, a little something. bit of a lisp. Good for you. I'm trying to trying to work on. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Awesome. All right. Good stuff. Um, all right. Well, I guess we have a ton to talk about. So, um, uh, folks, before we get started with the news, we do always like to remind you um, how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms. Every episode is released on our YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand side of the video and hit the notify button so that you never miss an episode. Yep, and you can also listen to us uh, if you're on the go and just want to hear the audio. Of course, we're on all traditional podcast platforms. Just search Pelo Buddy TV. Wherever you listen to podcasts, you'll find us. And uh, always be sure to subscribe and hit notifications so you never miss an episode or an update. And we do love to receive those five-star reviews that we love to read on the show from time to time. So please keep those coming. And we do really appreciate all the feedback that we get. So um, many thanks for those. Definitely. And of course, folks, we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Just, um, not Twitter, X. Just um, search for Pedal Buddy and like, follow us on those platforms for all of the latest news. And I guess, John, let's get on with the show. All right. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pillow news. For the past three years, Pillow Buddy has brought content to the community completely free of charge. Uh, Chris Lewis has done an outstanding job. Um, prior to three years, to be honest with you, Pillow Buddy's been around for longer. We started the show three years ago. Um, we have added a way to make a donation to the show to help with some of the hosting costs, recording software, um, and more. Um, if you should please, you can do so for as little as $5 a month. Um, that's that way the show can remain, um, ad free. We do 
offer you this show ad free, but more so for the website, um, for folks that, you know, write, like going to the website and seeing the articles written up, um, they really are pretty jam packed with ads. So it'll be a way for folks to be able to really get straight to the article without having to fight through the ads on there. Um, but it is to say that the show will remain free. We like to bring this to you. Um, you know, it was just a really way to to offer us um, some kind of support for the work that we've put into this. Um, from Chris at the top, who started this, you know, a while ago, to John and I hosting it, to you know Chris Giles and and Rich, who does the production, co- you know, the production side of things. Um, for you to have a fun podcast all about. Peloton and what is going on there. Um, so, you know, feel free to, you know, and, and those of course watching on YouTube, um, free, free, feel free to head over to the website and see the different options that we're offering. Um, and if you wish to do so, you can um, do so directly from the website. So um, again, as always, we do appreciate you listening, watching and um, keeping, keeping us going. So thanks for that. Yes. Thank you for, for all the loyal people watching and listening and for your support. So with that, we have a new Peloton commercial that debuted uh, just over New Year's on January 1st on Peloton's social media channels. It is called Something is Everything. Um, And the tagline is, because doing something is everything, tell us you're something for 2024. Uh, the full ad is one minute in length, and it does feature a real Peloton member, Shanta May Alexander, who Peloton has highlighted in the past on social media. And the spot showcases Robin Arzan with a voiceover and some visuals. And uh, it also shows a member utilizing the Peloton gym in a public workout space and a former athlete recovering from an injury at home with the Peloton bike. Um, The messaging of the ad takes a different approach uh, from what can be often expected from fitness companies, um, arguing that it's not about striving for a gold medal, a personal best, or the most intense workout possible. Instead, it's basically keeping it more simple, just something is everything. Um, So as Robin states in the ad, uh, as Robin Arzon states in the ad, whatever you're starting, run your own race. Um, and for anyone wondering the music in it, um, the song that they play in it is called Vaults by Odessa, uh, sorry, by Bronson. And it's a collaboration between Odessa, who Peloton has featured in their 2022 All for One Music Festival um, with record producer Golden Features. But a lot of people seem to um, have a positive reaction to the ad. It seems like everyone. Uh, everyone really liked this one. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. I thought it was amazing. I really thought it was amazing. I, I haven't mean, seen it yet on TV. Have you seen it? No. On any I never, you know what, to be podcast? honest with you, I never, I never really watch TV. I mean, if I'm watching it, it's usually a streamed, a streamed something. So I haven't seen, I haven't seen it on there, but um, it's a pretty powerful, it is definitely a powerful message. No question. Um, and I hope it, I hope it gains a lot of traction. I do have to say. All right. Well, um, Peloton has now officially partnered with YouTube TV, enhancing its presence uh, within Peloton Entertainment. Uh, The collaboration allows all access members to stream a wide range of content, including movies, TV shows, and live sports directly from the bike, Tread Plus, and the row. Uh, the partnership does aim to blend fitness with entertainment, helping members enjoy their favorite shows while working towards their fitness goals. Uh, the feature was initially in a closed beta phase, but has now fully launched alongside NBA League Pass in November. Uh, with the official partnership, YouTube TV now has a prominent position on the home screen, and it is the front of the app list alongside that NBA league pass. Members, of course, must have their own subscription to each streaming service that is being offered on there, including YouTube TV to utilize the feature. Um, Gwen Bethel Riley, Peloton's Senior Vice President of Music and Content Partnerships, emphasized that the partnership's role in continuing 
in Peloton's uh, commitment to fitness anywhere, anytime. The partnership is seen as a way to really empower members to combine their fitness journey with their entertainment preferences. And I have to say, it is something that I've seen in my household, um, definitely very welcomed. Mark definitely likes to be able to watch his show for the hour that he's going to be on the tread if he's going to be doing a walk. He, you know, he's never gotten quite into the whole, you know, class aspect of things. Um, And I'd much rather him, you know, walk on the treadmill for an hour than lie in, you know, lie on the sofa or in bed watching a show. So I think it is such a, a great addition to the platform. I'm glad that it's now a permanent feature. Um, they seem to have, you know, kind of checked off all the boxes as far as the kinks go and it works. The only thing I will say, I haven't tried YouTube, but I know with Netflix, if they can only figure out how to keep you logged in, um, it's very frustrating each time you go in, you have to re-sign in to your um, access. So Netflix, so, you have to put in your credentials, your password, you do, and your email you every do, time. You do, you do, each away. time, each time. So um, I'm hoping that that's something that they'll be able to eventually figure out how to have members stay logged in uh, for that. I know that. a lot of folks have chimed in and said they want YouTube, just okay. not not just YouTube TV, but I know I've, oh. I've seen there's a way to access YouTube within the YouTube TV interface. And okay. I think if you click on your profile, there's some sort of toggle option where you can actually get into YouTube and, and play YouTube videos through the YouTube TV option on the entertainment tab. But I, I love YouTube. We have YouTube TV at home and it's, it's, it's like the easiest way to watch TV or DVR That's things awesome. and you could access it, you know, on your iPad, on your iPhone, on your tablet. Um, so it's very portable if you're on the go or traveling. Uh, which is great. So love YouTube yeah. TV. All right. Good. Good. All right. So the fee, the fee is going up in 2024 and Peloton is adding service fees um, this year going forward for group classes at both Peloton Studios London and New York. Um, these service fees are only applied, though, to large group bookings. So not not to the individual members that are booking classes, um, at either studio on the studio booking site. So giving a little background. So Peloton has long allowed groups to book classes at the both studios. Um, sometimes, you know, obviously these groups are noticeable in class or called out because they all have, um, coordinated outfits or t-shirts made especially for the classes that they're in, um, or an instructor crew, um, and the way that the groups would secure a booking is through by reaching out to Peloton studio team. Um, and then they would be given various options and classes and dates from there. Um, since the studios officially reopened in 2022, uh, the London studio has been able to accommodate, you know, both partial and full groups. Um, meaning sometimes, you know, the full group would take up the entire studio, um, all the spots while New York has usually only allowed, partial groups just because of such a the high demand at PSNY um, with folks trying to get in there still. So up until now, Peloton has not charged any fees for this, for group bookings. Um, simply the stand, you know, the standard studio credit experience that you would pay, which is 25 pounds in London and $35 in New York. Um, but as of December 13th of 2023, Moving forward, Peloton is now adding uh, service fees for these group bookings for both studios. So some members who have previously um, expressed interest received emails notifying them of the addition of the new fees. Um, They said, yeah, it's effective December 13th. Um, In the email, the exact grouping fee, it depends. It's it. It's sort of tiered. It depends on the the studio location, the class type, and the size of the group. So in New York, the studio fees, they can range anywhere from $100 to $1,000. Um, in London, the studios, uh, the fees are much, much lower. They can range from £150 to £200. So much, um, much less significant range there with the London studio. Um, but the group classes service fees for the New York studio, um, we have them kind of all broken down and outlined on the write-up for this story on pellobuddy.com. 
but just to give you an idea for like a cycle class for a group of say 10 to 15 members, the studio, the service fee would be $400 um, for a complete buyout of the cycling studio, which would be 39 members. Um, you'd, the, the group would have to guarantee that they would fill the all allotted spots of 39 bikes in the studio. That would be a thousand dollars. That would be the maximum, um, studio fee while rowing classes are, aren't noted since they take place in the strength studio. It is assumed that the same hundred dollars service fee for that, um, would apply in that case for group, uh, bookings. Um, but the emails also contain a note, just a little caveat. They also contain a note that Peloton needs a minimum of 10 weeks notice for a group booking and groups should allow six to eight weeks for Peloton to respond to the request. So make sure your time frame is, is, uh, is a few months out just so, um, you can, uh, you can plan accordingly. But, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people, it, it seemed pretty divided. A lot of people were like, yeah, Peloton is a business, you know, obviously there's a huge demand, um, there's obviously a lot of work that goes into coordinating those those studio class those group classes on the back end. So why not um, yeah, charge yeah. for it? Makes it sense if there's it a demand. Sense. Yeah. So a lot yeah. of people, you know, seem to be totally understanding. And then the other side of the spectrum was they're just like, oh, they're just greedy taking advantage. Nah, I but, I, I um, do think that it's a good it's a good addition that they've added, and I think it also gives folks. I, I, there was also an issue with with New York where they weren't kind of giving everyone the opportunity to book classes. Some people were, some people weren't. I know that there was some talk about that as well. Um, so I, I do think that a more structured way of being able to do it makes, you know, makes sense. No question. Um, yeah, I, I got lucky. I, um, I was able to coordinate. Uh, so I don't even know if it's like come up, it's come up so quickly, but I'll actually be in London next week. Um, I, I moved my daughter in, she's doing her semester abroad there. And I was uh. able to, um, I, um, of course, you know, it incorporates a, a trip to Peloton, of course. Um, and I actually was able to coordinate a group class and I was really lucky because I did it far enough in advance. It was before the new policy came out. So I didn't have to uh, pay the additional fee fee. Um, but a lot of work went into it. I mean, there was a lot of back and forth with the concierge trying to figure it all out. Um, so I, I completely respect it. I think it's a, you know, it's a great way of, and you offset it. I mean, the person organizing doesn't have to pay for it. It can be incorporated in, you know, the fee to whoever wants to be in that yeah, class. Broken down. And, um, yeah. 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 So, um, it does make a lot of sense. I, I kind of like it. I do like it. All right. Well, shifting gears, you know, completely. Um, this is for the Power Zone crew, um, and I know that folks are going to be particularly pleased um, with the new auto resistance feature for Power Zone. So Matt Wolp has announced on his IG that Power Zone um, controlled resistance is now available for all Bike Plus riders. Uh, the feature allows the bike to automatically adjust resistance to maintain a specific Power Zone as called out by the instructor, even if the rider's cadence changes. It also automatically adjusts resistance for the next interval without the need for cadence change at all. It's designed to keep riders in the middle of their zones, resulting in smoother graphs for many people. Um, it is known in the outside world as the ERG mode, um, and it is a common feature in the cycling industry. So it is available on smart trainers and platforms like Trainer Road, Wahoo, and Zwift. So it definitely made sense for Peloton to include this for Peloton bike riders. Um, and there is no question that Power Zone has definitely become a prominent feature um, within the Peloton platform with, you know, groups, it, it continues to grow and the momentum and they, you know, they continue to add instructors into the mix of who are the power zone, you know, coaches for folks. Um, the, the target power zone indicator feature is available um, on both the Peloton bike and the Peloton bike plus, but the new ERG mode for power zone rides will only be available on the bike plus. Um, and that wow. is really just due to the hardware limitations, you know, of the standard Peloton bike. Um, in the meantime, um, 
uh, you know, folks can, yeah, upgrade if they really are big, you know, if they're big power zone folks, um, certainly can upgrade to the bike plus, but and just so feature, folks are aware. And that feature, Amanda, for, for power zone classes, it just applies to taking it on demand. Yeah. Right. It you don't, you don't get the auto resistance during a live correct. power zone. Yeah. Correct. It would just be for on demand classes. Yes, of course, right. of course, of course. Yes. All right. Well, while that was going on on the power zone side, those folks on the tread haven't been so happy lately. Um, some Peloton tread plus owners have been experiencing a significant bug that prevents them from starting any classes on their device, um, affecting both live and on-demand sessions. So the issue seems to be specific to the Tread Plus and not the basic Tread. Back on January the 2nd, Peloton acknowledged um, the issue with an official incident report. They suggested that members do a factory reset as a potential temporary fix while they work on identifying a permanent solution. They have not provided a timeline, though, for when the issue will be resolved. They did provide detailed instructions for performing a factory reset, which does not erase your profile um, or your class history or your settings. Um, but users will kind of need to reactivate their device after they have reset yeah. it. Now, you with your plus, have you oh. have you noticed any issues? No, thankfully no. But All right. a a well known um, Peloton OG, amazing Amy, had reached out to me earlier in the week because she has a Tread Plus, mm -hmm. and she was affected by yeah. I guess sometime over New Year's weekend there was a software update, and hers is still out of commission. She can't use it at all. And I just messaged her while you were telling me the story. I was like, your Tread Plus still inoperative? And she uh, said, indeed. So uh, a lot of folks have not had any success doing that factory reset. Um, so yeah, be interesting to see I, what sort of... Yeah, I wonder, I mean, I wonder if patch. this is anything, anything to do with the fact that they're kind of bringing back the bike, you know, the Tread Pluses and um, maybe, the, you know, there were all these bikes that... Ugh, excuse me, all these trades that have been sitting there that needed updating as far as software goes. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the, I mean, why, why all of a sudden? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like that tablet, that bike screen is pretty old. Yeah. And I personally had a lot of issues with it freezing remember, up on me. I remember. And then I replaced it three or four times. And I know Chris Lewis had reported on a, a newer sort of model number associated with this different tablet for the Tread Plus, which... We couldn't really determine if there was anything different about the hardware in it. There might have been some different, you know, updated components. But even after having that newer monitor on my Tread Plus, I still had that issue until they replaced, they finally replaced the base on it. Got it. Uh, but no, fortunately, no issues um, that some have had. But <laughs> yeah, right, I don't know. Well, if crossing fingers, you don't, you don't have any issues. But yeah, frustrating for sure. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we, we got an update. You know, I had been wondering, you know, where has Jen Sherman been? As, as a lot of folks had been wondering, because she had not taught a live class since the end of November, I believe on November 28th. And she had several classes since then, up until now, um, that were on the live schedule, some with members in the studio, and some of them were just canceled the day before. Um, you know, even the ones with members coming in. And it was really odd because there was no communication from her. You know, a lot of times, most instructors, if they're sick or something, they have to cancel last minute. They might randomly post in their stories. Like Olivia Amato is really good. If she gets sick the night before, she'll be like, sorry, I'm really, I'm really under, under the, weather. the weather. I can't yeah. make it. But there was nothing from Jen Sherman. And it was really odd because she was continuing to post on TikTok um, like she's been doing regularly with her friend, Sonny. Um, but there was no mention of Peloton or like being gone. So it was just really baffling. Like what's going on with Jen Sherman? Cause she appears perfectly fine. Um, but on January 1st, she did, uh, in her Instagram stories, she did say that, you know, she was aware people were wondering, um, you know, why she's been gone. Um, and she has, been dealing with a very uh, small medical issue um, that's nothing serious. She'll be fine, but um, her doctors hadn't given her the green light. 
apparently yet to return to teach live classes. And I know she had, I believe she had a live class scheduled for Friday, January 5th. And I just received a cancellation for that on Wednesday. Um, yeah. So yeah, she, she ex- explicitly stated she's planning on, she's not going anywhere. She's not leaving Peloton. Um, as soon as she gets medical clearance to do so, she'll be back on the platform. Um, but she just, you know, as far as the medical issue, she didn't say anything more detail about it. She just said it is more annoying than anything else, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, she only had a couple of pre-recorded drops um, since her last live class that she taught. She had the 20-minute Hanukkah ride, and she also had a Kelly Clarkson, a 10-minute Kelly Clarkson cool-down ride when the Kelly Clarkson um, artist series went down recently. Uh, but yeah, like I have, I've been wondering myself and I, you know, just, I, I, I mean, everyone was speculating. Everyone was thinking the worst, like if she's leaving Peloton or she's retiring. I, know, I, I feel so bad for her. I mean, you know, especially after her 10 year anniversary, big, you know, thing, I knew that that wasn't yeah. the case and things happen, you know, I mean, and, and she doesn't have, you know, she, yes, she's a public figure and everybody cares and everybody obviously was concerned, but she is entitled to her privacy, and especially if it's something that, you know, is is maybe something she doesn't want to talk about. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I thought she was very humble in the way that she shared that on her Instagram story. You know, basically, she recognized that there were tons of members that cared about her, and she wanted to make sure that, you know, she, everyone knew that she was going to be okay. But she is really entitled to her privacy. You know, maybe, I think this is maybe where Peloton goes wrong. You know, maybe they should have said something, you know, Jen will be off off the schedule, you know, for a certain amount of time. Because I do recognize there are people that, you know, specifically, and this is for any instructor. I mean, unforeseen things do happen. But if you've planned a trip, if you're especially wanting to come in because you want to do a milestone with that instructor or, you yeah. know, it, it is obviously very frustrating. And I, I get that. And I'm not discounting that for anybody, but they are entitled to, you know, to some privacy and, and, um, maybe she'll come out and tell everybody what's going on later, but it's none of no, really nobody's business other than that. We want to know that she's okay. Right. I mean, that's ultimately the, the, you know, the most important thing. She'll be okay and she'll be back. So, um, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Jess Sims has expanded her role with ESPN um, and will now serve as the men's college basketball Saturday prime game reporter. Uh, That'll start on January the 13th of this month. Um, But don't panic, folks. Jess will continue as an instructor. Um, She is just adding this role to her existing work with ESPN as a college game day reporter. She replaces longtime ESPN reporter Holly Rowe, who is transitioning to women's college basketball coverage. Um, Meg Aronovitz from ESPN, um, she is the senior vice president, praised Jess for her energy and her impact, noting that her passion for basketball will enhance their men's college basketball coverage. Um, Jess, who, as we all know, is a former college um, or collegiate basketball player, expressed her excitement about joining the Saturday primetime team, emphasizing basketball's significant influence on her life. She joined ESPN's College Game Day broadcasting team back in 2020 and announced her return for the 2023-2024 season. She also contributes, as we know, to Good Morning America and works as an in-arena host and sideline reporter for the um, New York Liberty WNBA team. So even with her busy schedule, we definitely still see her on the platform. She has continued to offer her Saturday 60 classes to Peloton members, um, unfortunately by pre-taping them. So if you're kind of, you know, wanting to be on there as a live class and and looking for a shout out, that unfortunately doesn't happen. But if you're fortunate. It seems like there's (laughs) a lot of people that are pretty bummed out and that you get to crew because... I mean, the, while while they, it's it's fine taking a pre recorded class, a lot of people miss the live Saturday morning experience, and um, a lot of folks kind of wished she would do it, just do it on a different day live. Day, 
instead yeah. of pre-recording it because they miss the whole live, you know, feeling. Right. Um, Not like do a Saturday 60, do a, you know, do a, a Saturday, I mean, a, a yeah. Wednesday, a Wednesday 60 or a day that she's not committed to something else. Yeah. Because um, I know a lot of people were really looking forward to, you know, game days wrapped up now that the college mm-hmm. football season is pretty much done with the exception yeah. of the championship game on Monday with the, the University of Michigan Wolverines and Washington um, Huskies. But yeah, I guess the, the pre-recorded uh, Saturday 60s will continue with this new um, expanded role, like you said. Yeah. I am excited for her though. I mean, it's, an, you know, what a, what a huge platform she's been given and clearly she's done an amazing job. So, you know, shout out to, to Jess for that. Um, and yeah. I, um, I don't know how she does it without just being completely drained Exhausted. because she, she was at the Rose Bowl game on New Year's Day with Michigan and Alabama, and she was at mm-hmm. the whole game on the field. And then she flew home that Monday night, took the red eye because mm-hmm. I took her, um, what class? Was, oh, she did a 60 minute bike boot camp that I took live on, uh, one of the first live classes, uh, back from the break on Tuesday, January 2nd. She got into New York at six ten. She went to physical therapy and then she taught that noon 60 minute class. I don't know how, I don't know how she does she, that. She was able to do all of that. Yeah, and the, with the and travel. in the midst of all of this, which we actually had not mentioned on the show, oh, she lost yeah. her dad. You know, so in the midst of that, she's grieving. She was very close to her father. I um, mean, of yeah. course, we do offer our condolences to her for that. Um, yeah, I don't think her father right before Christmas happened. and her yeah, grandmother right before Thanksgiving. That's right. That's yeah. quite right. I forgot about her grandmother. So, you know, I, 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 you know, certainly feel for her, but obviously this is keeping her distracted and busy and, um, she's just so amazing that she shows up, but, um, yeah, we did want to wish her our condolences, certainly from Pella Buddy, um, yeah. on, on the loss of her, mm-hmm. her dad. Well, Robin Arzan is also joining the team at GMA. Good morning, America. Um, they shared the news recently, Good Morning America and Robin, uh, via Instagram. But Robin is joining the GMA team as a fitness contributor. And in her first story um, about a week or so ago on Good Morning America, um, she shared her four-part life audit, which she recommends as New Year's uh, approaches. This is just before New Year's when she was on the show. Um, folded into her first piece was the announcement that she was joining um, the team as a contributor. Um, but she said it doesn't impact her role at Peloton. She's not going anywhere. She'll continue to teach classes. Um, this will just be in addition to her teaching, uh, in her free time. And obviously she's not the first instructor to take a guest role on, uh, the morning show while continuing her Peloton role. So we got Jess now, Allie Love is a contributor at the Today Show and Tune Day is also a contributor and guest correspondent for Access Hollywood. Now, I thought Robin might be a uh, a, a legal expert since you know she used to be a lawyer, and she did she did make mention of that fifteen seconds into her introduction. <laughs> so maybe we'll get some legal not. analysis um, in, in that role, which I would not be surprised if we if um. we got. Maybe, maybe. All right. Well, exciting news for Callie Galax Gullickson. Callie has been named as the newest Lululemon ambassador. So she is joining Eric Yeager, Hannah Frankson, Adrian Williams, and Chelsea Jackson Roberts, who were announced as ambassadors back in 2023. Um, Kelly is likely to be featured in upcoming campaigns for Peloton and Lululemon apparel collaborations. The most recent Peloton Lululemon collection was released back in uh, mid-December. And, you know, this was the, this was the range that they finally got to include a sizing update um, from, you know, Peloton Apparel after repeated feedback from members. So Peloton and Lululemon Apparel collaborations can be purchased via the the Peloton Apparel website um, or through Lululemon. But um, huge congrats to to Kelly. Maybe they'll have a maternity um, a maternity little uh, collab there as well. For um, with the fact yeah. that you know she's she's in the midst. Uh, you know I think she's, she's two thirds 
she's two thirds well into on. her pregnancy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I can't remember when she's due, but um, you and know, Myla that's, that's as well along as well. Oh, Myla, I think is about to pop. Um, I think so. But yeah, she's definitely quite far along. She's quite far along. Yeah. Well, instructor Ross Rayburn has recently announced a book tour in support of his book, Turning Inward, which is uh, coming out next week on Tuesday, January 9th. Um, he made the announcement um, this past week via his Instagram stories. The tour will take place over two months from January uh, to February 2024, hope he's going to visit five cities across the U.S. and U.K. over six different event stops. Um, he's confirmed the dates for all the stops, but we don't have. He hasn't confirmed the exact venues um, for each in some of the cities, so that'll be um, TBA, obviously. Um, but so far, the dates uh, we do know the location for the first stop, January 9th. Uh, in New York City at Gramercy Theater. Um, there's also a, uh, at PSNY, there's a book book tour stop on January 10th, uh, Los Angeles, January 16th, and then Chicago on the 23rd of January, and then London, uh, February 9th, and then rounding off the stops in Dallas, Texas on February 21st, uh, February 21st. The um, the two dates so far in New York, January 9th and 10th, um, there are ticket links. You can uh, purchase tickets for both. We have the links in the PelletBuddy.com article write up for the uh, the tour story. Um, if you're interested in attending, I don't know if they're sold out at the the time of recording yet. No, they're actually not, John. And um, I had actually chatted with Ross this past week. Um, you know, I'm kind of bummed that they did Gramercy and Peloton Studios back to back because I think that that diluted how many folks, you know, would go to to both the it demand, an opportunity yeah. if they can't. But the demand, unfortunately, um, you know, affected, affected, affected that being sold out. So I know that Gramercy definitely, I've been posting it on my Instagram. Um, that definitely has availability. I'm not sure if the PSNY one um, still has availability or not. Uh, yeah. The PSNY one will feature Chelsea Jackson Roberts and Dennis Morton. So um, I believe that Chelsea is the host for that particular um, uh, launch. And um, they did say special guest appearance um, from Dennis Morton. Uh, I'm not sure who is the host for the Gramercy um, one. I, I, I didn't, I don't believe I saw that. Um, but yeah, I, um, I actually have to say I, I was fortunate enough to get a early released copy of, um, well, the, the audio, the audio version of the book and, um, oh. yeah. And he's, um, he's amazing. I mean, he truly is amazing. And I love hearing, you know, this was somebody that never thought that he could meditate. Um, you know, he was a yogi, he, you know, turned into a yogi, um, later on in life, interestingly enough, um, and has made an incredible career of it. But um, he didn't start out that way. And something I found interesting about him listening to the book was that um, he worked for, um, it must have been United, I was trying to figure out, but he worked for an airline, I believe as a flight attendant, um, uh, flying between DC and Cape Town, South Africa. So that was <laughs> kind of cool. I, I know that he had spent time in Cape Town, but I didn't actually realize that he had, um, you know, he had actually worked for an airline and flew back and forth. So that was an interesting tidbit that I, that I discovered from, you know, listening to the book. Um, the only concern I have with the damn book it, and, and it, it kind of did happen <laughs> once. It's in a pretty relaxing state. <laughs> it does. I mean, you know, yeah. my, what did we say where we said it before? My, my, um, it's that, um, uh, what we say it for me when, when you kind of hear something and you, you do it, what's the, Pavlo what's it? Um, the Pavlovian effect. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Is that, I, you know, you hear Russ's voice and I want to go to sleep, yeah. but, um, it's, 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 an, it's awesome. So, um, I really hope that he does well with it and I wish him the best of luck. Um, really excited about it. All right. Well, do you love to dance? Because um, if you enjoy the dance cardio classes on the platform, Peloton has released a new installment of dance cardio classes. Uh, the latest installment features um, both Jess King and Emma Lovewell, but a new face appeared in the eight new classes that were released, Leanne 
Queen Sweet. So she was introduced as a new dance cardio instructor. Um, the classes were made available on demand um, on New Year's Eve on December the 31st. And the release included um, a total of five classes. So there's a one minute warm up, there's a one minute stretch, five, excuse me, a five minute warm up, a five minute stretch, there's a beginner level and an intermediate level dance cardio class. Um, those are each 10 minutes long. Um, so you know, some fun variations on there. This release, interestingly enough, was the first time that the dance cardio was taught by solo instructors um, and in the existing Peloton studio space, suggesting that dance cardio might in fact be released more routinely moving forward. Uh, the classes were teased in the weekly um, this week at Peloton Post at, on the at Peloton Studios Instagram account, and all the new classes have been added to the dedicated dance cardio collection, which folks can find um, in the you know in the all you know all dance cardio classes you know for multiple years. Um, it it. Um, marks Peloton's third dance cardio drop um, of 2023. So um, yeah, it was kind of fun. I haven't done it yet, but I, it, it was kind of fun to see Leanne. Obviously, we all know that she, you know, was a backup dancer and and um, is so talented. So I'm actually curious to do that. I haven't done that yet. Great. Well, Peloton has announced the details of their latest artist series featuring the music of country artist Zach Bryan. And it all went down, uh, it began on Thursday, January 4th, included five classes across four modalities, uh, including one in German. Uh, two classes took place live, uh, with the rest being a mix of premieres and straight on demand uh, drops. But um, what we got, a 15-minute Zach Bryan standing yoga with Kara Michelle, uh, that was on demand. A uh, 20-minute Zach Bryan run with Tobias Hines in German. A 30-minute Zach Bryan run with Matt Wilpers. A 30-minute ride with Dennis. And a 20-minute row that uh, dropped as a premiere with Katie Wong. And then some other artist series uh, that we can see that are coming in January, just based on the updates in the studio booking site. Um, there's four new artist series in the works uh, for January. Um as uh, that were revealed on the, I guess, around December 21st when they updated the, the booking site. So I already mentioned the Zach Bryan one, but uh, the Color Purple um, artist series, that's happening January 11th. Earth, Wind, and Fire, it's kind of random. Uh, that's happening January 18th. And then Pink, uh, January 25th. Um, so we only have, a like, we only know a, a handful of rides for, or a handful of classes rather for each artist series, just based on what's in the schedule, you know, for, for booking with members. Uh, but definitely expect to be, you know, so there's like two or three for each, each one, but definitely expect a lot more to be added, um, with or without members in it, you know, on demand and premiere recorded the pink one. Um, this is the second time, um, we had a pink artist series back in 2019 and those classes are still available in the on-demand library. So I know a lot of folks are excited to, to have another one with her. Yeah. I actually was able to get into Aditi's flow. Um, oh. I'm going to be in New York that weekend hmm. and it popped up. So I am really excited. I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. excited to get to do, um, uh, an artist series with, with Aditi. So I'll be in that. January pink yoga 24th. Flow. Is that, um, it's a Thursday. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I. Are you going to be, be there? In? I'll be there that weekend. Uh, True. January, wait, January 24th. That's a Wednesday. I have to look. It's, Thursday is, maybe it's, I'll be. Maybe it's the 25th. It must be the 25th then is the yoga. It's got to be the 25th. The, yeah, well, what Chris Lewis details, he's got a 6.30 p.m. on January 12th. He's listing them all as January 24th, so that's the uh, Wednesday night. The 24th uh, is – because I'll be there on the 25th and, and 26th. <laughs> so. I better go back and check. I know that I'm in the class. Hopefully I'm in for okay. the right day. Um, but, oh, good. Well, look, 
Good. We'll have to get to see we'll each run other. Into there, yeah. we'll see. I have to figure out to see what classes. We mean, we'll see. You damn right, we'll run into <laughs> each other. We'll see. What bullshit is that? <laughs> um, that's awesome. All right. Well, we'll have to make plans on that. Um, yeah. And I'll have to figure out what classes you're in. All right. Moving on. Eric Jaeger has launched a new German strength program for beginners, which will show members the correct movements and give members the perfect foundation for strength training. It's a 10-day uh, program where each day includes a strength warm-up, the actual class, and then a stretch. So um, I wish that wasn't in German. I so wish that that was in oh. English. But um, hopefully they'll come out with something similar because it really looks like a fantastic program. And I am very into my strength now, John Pruitt. Oh, I, am on, <laughs> I am on week. I am doing round three of Rebecca Kennedy's um, five-day split strength program. Um, and I love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. So Good I sure. hope that, yeah, I hope that Peloton come out with something like this. Uh, because if you look at the, it's called 10 by 10. If you look at the way the program is structured, it's brilliant. It's really done very, very well. Um, Do you know, are they going to have English subtitles in the Eric? I don't know. Strength? I didn't see that. I didn't see yeah. that. But um, yeah, and I, for strength, I need I need it in English. You know, for a ride or even a walk, I'm okay to, you know, have the German. Um, but for something like strength, I want to know that I'm doing it correctly. Um, yeah. So that was, that was good. Nice. Well, the top 50 classes happened over that, that long break that both studio... Uh, both studios were closed. I took none of them. Um, but we had at least 25 different classes... Um, five sets of classes across at least five different modalities that uh, happened between December 26, um, running through the 30th of December with classes premiering at 9 a.m. Eastern each day. I, I looked at these songs and these are, <laughs> to me, these are like the most overplayed songs on the platform. Um, some of which I did not have no interest in hearing again, like anything from Beyonce, uh, like, <laughs> like uh, in that. cuff it and <laughs> break my soul are just the most overplayed, annoying songs at this point on the platform. Jeffrey, um, close your ears. <laughs> Prue doesn't mean it. Close your just, ears. Uh, like trust fall by pink. That song's okay. Padam, padam by Kylie. Padam, padam. Yeah. That's I a love great that. song. Like I'm, yeah, I'm I love that. that, but I don't need to hear flowers by Miley Cyrus again. Um, and I was really surprised and kind of irritated. There was basically one Taylor Swift song in all of the one through 50. And it was this remix of lavender haze, which is this like really sped up version of it, which I just, I, I'm so much more partial to the, just the regular version of yeah, it. So I was yeah. just kind of bummed there wasn't, there wasn't any uh, Taylor Swift in the, the top one, one through two. And the, the number um, one was like such an arbitrary song, wasn't it? I, yeah, there was, yeah. There was yeah, in the, in the one through 10 ever long by Foo Fighters was in there. I guess that was a really well-liked uh, song that people hearted right. over the past year. It was just yeah. kind of random because it's not, it's an old song. Yeah. At this point, yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't take a single one. I was not interested. Um, I did do a couple. I did do a couple of the of the walks. Um, they were kind of walk plus runs. Um, I did a couple of those you know, down in Florida. So I wasn't on my tread. I was on the gym tread. But. I might have taken one if Cody had recorded one of those classes or Jen Sherman because Cody, in the past, he's given some great commentary. You know, about, you know, he'll mention, he'll, he'll poke fun at whatever instructor overplays a certain song or says something. But yeah, Cody, he didn't, he didn't record any of those. Um, Rebecca Kennedy uh, did release. a great job on hers, I will say. I really enjoyed, she had the 50 to 49, I guess. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed hers. I thought her, the structure of her class also was excellent. So I did a couple. Um, well, we also got a um, release of a whole bunch of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day classes, which seem to have had have been a huge success. Um, if you haven't tried any of those out yet, you know, make sure you grab those from the On Demand Library. Some of the highlights were Ben Aldis's New Year's Eve ride. Um, John Husking had his at the club uh, New Year's Eve walk. Um, it was kind of a walk plus run, and of course Jess King's the Jess King experience with DJ John Mike on the bike that one I did um, you yeah. did it yeah yeah it was good 
Um, some of the New Year's Day highlights were a brand new meditation from Kristen McGee. There was a 20-minute full body stretch from Adrian. Uh, a recovery walk from Rebecca, as well as rides from Christine Derkley and um, and Sam Yo. There were many, many more classes which you can find on demand. So make sure you head over if you haven't done any of them. Um, there were some great ones. Nice. Well, Peloton has made some numerous updates and additions to Lane Break, the video game exercise format for the bike and the tread. Um, first members can now stack lane break classes just as regular on demand classes, um, can be stacked. So this means you can select a lane break, warm up, uh, ride, cool down, et cetera, and stack them in advance of your workout. So you don't have to navigate, um, to them in between each class. So D DJ John Michael, um, recently shared news about this feature in his Instagram account um, and said the stack icon will be visible on all lane break classes moving forward. Um, coincidentally, <coughs> excuse me, after I think on one of my rides on Wednesday, I think after the Canola Marone, I noticed that um, there was a, a recent 10 minute lane break cool down ride in there. And I hadn't done a lane break, you know, um, ride in a year plus. Forever. And I did a 10 minute one after my Camilla rides and I, um, I selected extreme for the level. Um, and the music was great. I was bored after a minute though. Yeah. <laughs> it just, just wasn't for you. It's just, no, no. I mean, yeah. it was fine, but yeah, 10 minutes felt like it felt like an eternity. Oh, that's too um, funny. Yeah. I don't, I must be honest. I don't do them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I obviously haven't had a chance to do it on the tread yet because it's not on the tread plus. Um, so in addition to that feature now, there's also a new option to filter specifically for lane break classes in the on-demand library. So there's this new like toggle button that you just, you, you tap it, it'll light up red to, to indicate that it's selected. Um, similar, similar, it's formatted similar to the toggles for bookmarks and sessions options. So turning this on and off, it'll allow you to view or hide lane break classes in the on-demand library. And next, uh, there are now some different colored backgrounds available based on which class type you select. So according to a pop-up alert in lane break on, on devices, these new colors are designed to better connect to the music of that particular level. So there's also in-game elements that maintain the beat of whatever song is playing. Um, there's a couple of additional updates that only apply to the tread lane break. First, all difficulty levels now display the estimated distance. Um, before selecting that difficulty mem uh, level, members will be able to see the distance they can expect to cover within that level. And then Peloton has also added a new walking difficulty for all lane break levels on the tread. Um, this has caused a slight shift in the available levels. So with walking now being the easiest, with the change, Peloton has dropped the extreme level on the other end of the difficulty spectrum, which they had just added over the summertime. And then moving on to the Peloton row, there's been a small update there. Peloton has quietly added two small new features to the row over the past few weeks. First, the row now displays the member's average pace every 500 meters so that users can easily see and monitor their average pace throughout the class. Um, this is shown in a, a small overlay over the distance box in the bottom left hand of the screen. And um, the row will also display the change since the previous 500 meters. Um, in addition to that, they've also added the Just Me uh, top level filter for the leaderboard. When you take a ride you've never taken before, um, this is now shown next to the all time and here now options and the just me view on the leaderboard. It removes all of the other members who are taking or have taken the class and just allows you to view, um, yourself solely your personal metrics. Um, so when you retake a class you've previously done, um, you can easily compare your, your performance across any, other sessions that you've done that class. All right. Well, there's also been a, um, uh, there have been some several but small, uh, several small but significant updates to the Peloton guide. So, um, which, which has kind of enhanced its functionality and 
user experience. A new search bar has been added to the guide, allowing members to use keywords to find specific classes. The feature um, already available on other Peloton platforms enables users to kind of search for instructors, for class types, or muscle groups using a keyboard um, or voice activation. They have also improved the virtual weight rack feature so that it now remembers and maintains weight changes within a movement for the rest of the workout. This means that if members alter the suggested weight for a movement, they won't have to manually change it again for later sets. Uh, also, the heart rate metric display has been moved to the bottom of the guide screen. It previously was located on the right side. And one thing that has not yet been fixed is the ability for guide users to join live classes early for the pre-show. So users are Good. only able to join live classes at the exact start time. So, yeah, so for someone like you who so likes no more to, um, on the, on the you know, to be able to, you know, record a pre-show, um, it, that's not available. That is not available. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So if you're taking, say, a live strength class on the guide, you basically, you won't catch any of the pre-show on the guide if you're doing the workout there. So if you Cur say you did it on your bike or your tread... It would show the, it would it show would the show. pre show there. That's exactly. kind of weird. Exactly. Exactly. But right. it's not showing it if you're doing it on the guide. That's strange. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's kind okay. of strange. It's kind of strange. Um, well, we've got a New Year's hardware sale that's going on right now. So Peloton is back with some new discounts um, hours after their previous um, sale expired. So a new set of uh, New Year's discounts available across all Peloton offerings. Um, in a new twist, these include an offer of free membership for people purchasing a Peloton bike. Um, the sale is is going on right now. It ends, runs through January 9th, uh, 2020, 2024, unless there's some sort of extension um, to that announced. Um, but the interesting thing is the New Year's deal appears to be better discounts that across the board than the the one we just had over the holidays, the recent holiday sale. That's interesting. So the New Year's discount starts with $300 off a Peloton bike with larger discounts if you get one of their package offerings. Um, in addition, the refurbished bike remains available to purchase as well with a discount added. And in that little twist, Peloton is, offer, is also offering two months worth of free membership when you buy a Peloton bike or Bike Plus through this holiday purchase. Um, this is the first time in recent years that Peloton has offered um, membership free with the purchase. And is that the all, uh, that must be obviously the all access membership? So that's about a hundred dollar right. savings. You yeah, know, it's, it's like forty five yeah. bucks a month around yeah. there. So yeah. it's almost a hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, first two months. So yeah, just to give you an idea, the. Um, Peloton bike in the U.S. is eleven uh, one thousand one hundred forty five dollars. The bike plus is two thousand ninety five dollars. Um, I think the discount for the, the recent holiday sale was I think it was two hundred dollars off the bike. So this one it's three hundred. Um, and the good news is you should also be able to price match um, these discounts if you reach out to Peloton support. Um, if you've placed an order in the past thirty days, they should be able to take care of you. All right. So all you power zone folks that want to upgrade, so you have your auto resistance, now's the time to do it. You see, I said that at the beginning of the show, this is the perfect time to do it. All right. And to close out the, um, the year, Peloton had a significant apparel end of year sale with discounts up to 70%. So that was pretty, pretty wild. Um, I, I looked you know, if you really wanted sizes you you wanted, those were all kind of gone. It kept they kept sending us, you know, staff to tell us about the apparel sales, and they really I didn't I didn't end up buying There's anything. Some dream, I mean, there was Dream Blend shirts for nineteen dollars that are oh, still. Oh, serious? Did on you buy there. them yeah, out? It's pretty nice. I didn't get any, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I was. I've just done. got so much stuff. But. Me too. Me too. I was done. I was done. All right. But well, we are going to roll right into instructor in the news, and um, I will kick it off. So uh, Leanne Hainsby has announced that she is running the London Marathon, 
We knew that her fiance Ben was doing it and he was doing it together with John Husking. But Leanne has now announced that she too will be running um, the London Marathon. Jeffrey McKeachin is also running. That is all I've heard of for right now. So it's just the four of them. Um, there may be some others that we'll hear about later on. Um, but of course, Ben, Leanne, and John are all running for breast cancer awareness. Um, they're uh, doing it in collaboration with Breast Cancer Now, I believe the organization is called, and I'm sure that they will be sharing on their social media, um, you know, abilities for folks to donate. And obviously, it's a you know very dear cause um, for for them. Um, and and with that. Um, came the announcement of um, Ben Aldous's best man for his wedding. Um, and it was done in a really, really sweet way. Uh, they had pre-recorded something um, of Ben handing John a gift, which he opened. And it was, you know, basically Ben asking John to be his best man for their wedding, um, telling John, you know, he'd been such a support to them over the last 18 months um, and being there. And it was really beautiful. Uh, John got very emotional and um, it'll be, yeah, it'll be something fun to, to kind of watch as it, you, he prepares with stag parties and all sorts of other <laughs> <Stag>. stuff <laughs> that's going to happen down the, um, down the, down the line. But that was fun to see. Yeah, it was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Well, I don't know if you, um, anybody had a chance to catch any of the instructor books on Kindle, but they were, uh, there was like a big deep discounted sale on recently on Amazon Kindle. Um, Emma's book was a dollar. Most of them were a dollar 99 for a limited time. I don't think they're currently still at that price on sale right now. Um, Alex's book, Rise to Greatness, was $1.99. Robin's Shut Up and Run was also a buck ninety nine, and Ben's was discounted to ninety nine cents. Um, I, uh, I I love the audio versions of um, of those. I've really gotten into to, to listening to them. Yeah, because you yeah. really can you, you kind of connect with it more. I, I think you yeah. know, especially when they're reading their own book. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yep. I listened to them all on audio and it was, they were amazing. Yeah. And then, um, all right, Camilla Rahman, she was featured on Elite Daily sharing her journey from a hyperactive toddler in Buenos Aires to a beloved fitness icon. Uh, Camilla shared that before joining Peloton, she transformed her relationship with exercise from a source of self-criticism to a celebration of movement. Now she's known for her empowering Latin-rooted classes that feel like a club, complete with pero interludes and affirmations to embrace one's inner pero responsible, her, her responsible baddie. Um, she shared how she's excited to continue connecting with the Latin community, promoting body celebration and fun over body alteration. She says her current obsessions include the song popular by Playboy, um, Car by Playboy Cardi, The Weeknd, and Madonna, and the Korean series Sweet Home. She gears up for early classes with reggaeton and believes in the controversial choice of raisins in empanadas. Yeah, very controversial. Oh. I've never heard of that. Uh, when not instructing at Peloton, she's still um, guiding others to feel good in their bodies, building a community of empowered individuals. It was a really cool um, article. Very cool article. Great. Well, Emma Lovewell was recently on the Caro Chambers podcast. So into that. And some of the things that they got into during that conversation was teaching themselves to drink water after being raised by parents who don't, who never do, rather. Uh, skincare products, shifting relationships uh, with caffeine, the surprisingly important role that our pets uh, play in our lives, finding a fitness company, uh, throwing in an egg for protein, and what made us laugh out loud this past week. 
And Bex Gentry is featured in episode 87 of On the Runs podcast. The episode delves into Bex's background, her love for Formula One racing, her journey into the fitness industry. She shares her experiences growing up in the UK, her involvement in various sports, and her transition from a career in PR to becoming a personal trainer. The discussion also covers her passion for trail running and ultramarathons, including her fast race and participation in the Speed Project Race. Bex reflects on her uh, her memorable moments from the Speed Project, her bucket list races, and the camaraderie and fun behind the scenes at Peloton. She also discussed working during the COVID-19 pandemic. And I really like this part of it because we didn't really get to hear the personal feelings of how the, you know, how the uh, instructors felt about having to do this, you know, from behind the scenes. Um, she spoke about the challenges of international travel and the contrasting restrictions in London and New York. Uh, yeah. The episode also touches on the mental battle she faced during the British Olympic trials and the support she received. Um, it ended with a rapid fire question, you know, the kind of the rapid fire questions, her appreciation for her group, the Bex Beasts community, which I really liked, um, and her future goal. Thanks. Well, a big congratulations to Mariana Fernandez and Camilla Ramon. They were recently featured on Bustle.com's wellness list of eight Latino wellness influencers you need to follow. So shout out to, to both of them. Yeah, awesome. All right, John, we are going to go through class picks of the week. There aren't that many. Um, okay. So why don't you kick it off? First up, Emma's 30-minute groove ride from December 20th. We got this from Just Dance Lisa. She said, Emma's groove rides are always great. And then Robin's 30-minute Kelly Clarkson run from December 21st. Got this from Kim Thousand. She said, great playlist in coaching. And then Camilla's 30-minute reggaeton ride from December 22nd. Got this from Layla BCH. She said, her reggaeton rides are always, her reggaeton rides always hit different. All right. And then we had Chelsea Jackson Roberts, 30 minute Kwanzaa yoga flow. This one was on the 26th of December. It came from Tom, Tom's 84 rides. Great to see a Kwanzaa class on the schedule this year. Jess King's 30 minute Jess King experience from the 30th. 30th. This one came from Mr. Battle three. Um, they said, or he said, the um, Jess King experience is always a blast. And this year's edition um, always takes it to, oops, to another level. And then we had John Huskings at the club, his New Year's Eve um, walk plus run. Um, this was my pick, and it was definitely a party on, uh, you know, on the tread. He had songs from, you know, I got a feeling from the Black Eyed Peas at a goodie but an oldie, Barbie Girl, um, September, which is one of my favorite songs. Your Padam Padam was right in there. <laughs> Um, and what I loved about it, he ended it off with New York, New York, which is just such a New Year's Eve kind of song, you know, thinking about the ball dropping in, uh, in Times Square. Um, it really that was, was on my do not, that, that song was on my do not playlist at our wedding. <laughs> Are you serious? New York, when the band, New York? When, when the band oh, would take a break and they would probably music, that was off funny. the do not. <laughs> nope. It, it was right in there and it was a great way to end that, um, that run. So it was, it really was classified as a walk, but it was a walk plus run. Cool. All right. Next up, Sam Yo's 20 minute New Year's Day recovery ride from December 31st. Got this from Karen Sprins. Karen Spins. She said, Sam's recovery rides on New Year's are one of my favorite traditions. And then Jess Sims, 60 minute EDM bike boot camp from January 2nd. Milky Smooth and Katie Nelb gave us this one. They said, She pushed us during hard times with smiles, emotional and poetic tribute to her dad. And then Dennis's 30-minute reset ride from January 2nd. Pete, Pete Pete Rides Rose submitted it. And he said, this is a great series from Dennis. Be sure to pair it with his reset yoga class as well. 
And then um, we kicked the new year off with Maddie Majacomo's Walk and Talk. This one came from Cindy T42 and myself. Um, it was his first one back for the new year, and he did not disappoint. He um, probably the best part. And I was so disappointed you weren't on there, John, because you would have absolutely loved this. When he but took the call on his watch from you, Olivia. Uh, you know, he saw it, and and I said I stood there saying, "Take it. You've got to take it. It's going to make this so much fun." And then he did. Um, and I just thought that that was just such a fun, spontaneous moment. I'm sure he's probably got get, you know got shit for it afterwards uh, from his producers. Like, what the hell are you doing? Well, I actually, um, went. I pulled I pulled up the class to go to that moment, and yeah, he answered it. He goes. Hey, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I'm teaching a class. I'll call you back after. Right. I think I just heard Olivia like go, okay. <laughs> and then he hung it up. I mean, it was just so funny. And then he said, you know, his mom's off and out his classes. He goes, oh God, I'm going to be in trouble now. My mother's going to want to know why I don't pick up hers in the middle of my classes. But um, he had a great playlist. I mean, he kind of, you know, ran down some funny moments of the year. And then what I loved about it was that he actually shared those moments in his IG Um post-class. So some Ugh. of the stuff that he spoke about, um, he actually mm -hmm. shared. So for those of us that hadn't seen it or didn't know about it, it was in there. So that was, nice. um, that dropped on the third Wednesday is his now regular 9am walk and talk Eastern time, um, t uh, time slot. Um, and then, uh, Mila Lazar, she, her 20 minute new way ride, uh, ride also from the third that one came from sparkly 318 good old karen and she said playlist and format format were both awesome in this one and then to wrap up the um, class picks of the week for this week beautiful mariana fernandez her 20 minute evening slow yoga flow also from wednesday the third um this one came from yogi and 22 and they said mariana's evening flows are always a pleasure and yes they are and that folks wraps up this week's hello buddy tv so we are going to keep it short. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to listen as always. Um, you know, of course we would love your support if you are, you know, if you do enjoy our show, if you do, you know, enjoy the material that Chris puts out there, you know, we'd love for you to be a contributor. It would mean a lot to us. Um, but otherwise just know you can always come on here for your ad free podcast <laughs> and get to hear us. Um, I will not be here next week because I will be gallivanting in London town. So you'll probably get a John Pruitt, Chris Lewis rendition of mm. Nobody TV. Um, and hopefully the following week I will fill you in on what is happening at PSL. But um, I'm looking forward to um, slipping a couple classes in while I move my daughter in for her semester abroad. I'm really excited for her that she'll be in London and um, she'll get to be there. So um, from me here, Happy New Year once again to everybody. Thank you so much for listening, watching, and um, see you in a couple of weeks. And from me in Michigan, Happy New Year as well. Appreciate everyone tuning in, watching and listening. And as always, we will see you on the leaderboard. Bye for now. Thank you for watching Pillow Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton. By the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pillow Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pillow Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pillow Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.